Hi everyone, welcome to a new video, I hope you are all doing well. Today I bring you a sped up video. I'll be showing you the process of this drawing, which is a mix of a hydra and a royal naga, and I thought it would be a good example to talk about the importance of line art and how it can carry a whole drawing. I hope I can give you some tips and tricks to help you in case that, like me, you love to put a lot of elbow grease into your line work. And I mentioned before in my videos that I am not good at shading with color. I have trouble making shadows look natural, so things like cell shading are not really applicable to my work, which is normal. Different styles of art don't accommodate every single type of shading. I do, however, love to shade using lines, I do a mix of cross and contour hatching in my work, and the way that I do line art is very influenced by some of my favorite artists. Artists like Gustave Doré, Alphonse Moucha and Anders Zorn have had a huge impact on how I approach line work today. And that being said, we can start off with tip number one, to look and study artists that you look up to. And this doesn't have to be just old masters. Any artist that you admire that works with line art, even if not always, can help you elevate your work. Just to name a few that have helped me look a bit more deeply into line art and to improve my own work are, for example, Anna Podedwarna, Nico Delors, Akihiko Yoshida. And this, of course, doesn't mean you should just straight up copy them. While copying can help you improve and study, I think observation can have a much bigger impact on how you improve. And studying and observing different artists can help you even eventually develop your own style of working with lines. And I can use this as a segue into my next tip, which is try and look at line art as something more than just to contain color with. Line weight, for example, can give you a perception of light and shadow and even form. And using line density can upgrade a drawing. Playing with line variation to link thin lines to where light would hit, for example, or vice versa, can help you create more intricate and complex line work with a very simple method. And I try to apply this regularly to my own work. Of course, this method, to be effective, you need to carefully determine where light would hit. And for it to create a coherent art piece implies that you have to at least have somewhat of a firm hand when it comes to understanding light and shadow. My third advice is not to limit yourself to a quote-unquote single line. And this is something that I love to do and you can find a lot in my work. And which is to go for different styles when doing some line art. Go for pointillism, cross-hatching, contra-hatching, individually or mix them up. And this will help you create form. <laughs> Where there is form, there is shading. <laughs> And this inevitably leads to my last tip, which is not to be afraid of exploring new techniques and don't limit yourself to paper and ink. There are so many things you can try, even if you don't enjoy inking. And who knows, you might trip on a technique that you really love and turns you into a master inker. 
This, of course, goes hand in hand with trying new tools. Be free with them, try, for example, brushes, nibs, pens, stretching tools, etc. If you work digitally, this also applies because you can try so many different brushes. There are infinite amounts of brush packs and a lot of them are free, so you don't even have to pay for them. And you can also venture and making your own brushes. There are so many tutorials available nowadays that digital art is not excluded from this try new things advice which is given over and over again and for a good reason because if you don't try new things well maybe you'll never actually evolve. And this is kind of all of my advice. Inking is generally the part that I love to do the most when I'm drawing and I hope this video can be helpful to anyone who is either a beginner in the art of doing line work or even veterans. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this was really helpful. If you want to support me, please then like and subscribe. I try to upload every Sunday and you also have other links to my social media in the description below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you all later. Bye!